we know what's been ruled, but we are not ready to prepare it, I guess, to make an official announcement yet. Sorry. I wish we could. It would make sense to be able to do that right now. But, or should I just say, screw it, Sean? <laughs> I say you do whatever you want to do. It's up to you. What are you seeing coming through now, almost halfway through, a couple weeks left? I'm really excited about the group we have, but we still we need to get more out of the new guys. Um, you know, they're not comfortable being vocal yet, which which they need to be. But so what we're trying to get them to do is just at least bring effort every day. And I think some of the guys are a little nervous. You know, we had our scrimmage, private scrimmage Saturday. There were some nerves. I think the excitement of media day and then um, – you know, having the open scrimmage tonight, some of those guys were a little nervous, but what we're trying to get them to do is just come out and, and play their tails off. That way you can play through some mistakes because we know that those are going to be there early on for those, those young guys. How about one of the new guys, Wayne, Kyler Kelly, from uh, actually near my area here. What, how's he doing so far? Uh, just like all the new guys, you know, highs and lows. Right. And, and when the focus and the effort, you know, kind of drifts, so so does the production. But um, we're, we're excited about what he brings. Mm -hmm. We knew that was going to be a little bit of a process because he's not played at this level. He hasn't played against this level of competition, but uh, we're thrilled for, for his potential. And what, the neat thing is, is he and Warren um, are, are very similar. You know, long, athletic, slightly built right now, but um, skill. Um, so those guys, you know, can kind of feed off each other now, now and again and, and complement each other. Those new big guys as a whole, are you starting to see some signs that you'll be able to get some production there? Yeah, you know, it's it's not it's early, but it's not as consistent as we need right now. But uh, you know, they all did some nice things in our in our scrimmage on Saturday. Um, you know, today, you know, if you were around, you saw some good things from Warren. You know, some things from from Kyler. Uh, but then even Big Jack Wilson has had some. You know, and he's more along the type of Big G, a big physical presence. But um, you know, the thing that we like is that we've got some numbers in the post this year where we've been kind of thin in there in years past. What do you, How do you like kind of overall the, the of this team yeah. other teams you've had? Yeah, I think we've probably got, you know, one of the deeper teams. I've said that in the past uh, that we've had. Now we, we've got a lot of young guys, so we need to be patient with some of them. But uh, as we get closer to where we're playing games for real, we'll see which guys we can kind of throw in the fire and which ones we need to bring along, along slowly. This fifth year, Gil is different with the different lighting and the overhead scoreboard. Yeah. What are your thoughts about that? Oh, a lot of excitement in the air. You know, what the... Uh, what the administration has done to kind of uh, give the inside a little bit of a facelift, but really to enhance uh, the experience for, for the players, but the fans especially. Um, I know it's going to be neat when when we get out here for real and, and, and the video board's up there, and I guess they're going to do crazy things with the lights and all that stuff. That doesn't matter much to me, but it goes to the kids. So um, it's going to be it's going to be pretty exciting. What do you tell Stevie G and Trace? And they've been in this thing for four years. They know it so well, and you're, you're going to need these new guys. Can you tell them to kind of help bring these guys along and to maybe not get frustrated early with guys who don't know the system? Before. Yeah, you know, what we've tried to tell them is, is to, you know, be supportive, be positive, but if they're not bringing the effort, not to be afraid of getting after them. You know, um, really good leaders aren't necessarily the most popular guys, but they get the best out of their team. And um, we need more guys, I think, to, to kind of help Trace out with that role because, you know, he's a guy that will be vocal. Um, and we need some of the other veteran guys to step up along those lines. Otherwise, you know, when they're out on the floor, they're, they're going to lack a little bit of direction, some of the new guys. So the more vocal we can be, the more consistent we can get those guys to bring the effort and the focus, I think the quicker we'll get to where we need to be. Any of the new guys that you've uh, been watching the past few weeks that, you know, that, that surprise you or are really on track to make an impact? Well, um, I'll, I'll put it this way. The two most consistent guys have probably been Antoine Vernon and Warren Washington. Um, they've come probably the furthest since the guys were here in June. But uh, Antoine's trying to do everything he can. Um, he's a little bit more vocal when he's with the second group. And, and what we're, we, we played him today with, he's only been with the first group a, a couple of times. But we're trying to get him to lead when he's on that team as well. And you can tell he's still not comfortable, you know. But, uh, defensively, he's doing what we want, pressuring the ball. He's picked up our zone slides, you know, fairly well. And then offensively, he knows to, to get the ball to certain guys and not to look shot first, but he's capable. I mean, I, I love the fact that guys aren't going to be able to play off of him, maybe like some of our guys in the years past, So, um, especially last year. 
Um, and then Warren, you know, Warren, he's good around the basket. He can score with either hand. Uh, he's a defensive presence. But like Kyler, they need to get used to the physicality of the game too. Fifth year already here, Wayne, our start of the fifth year. Does it feel like it's gone by really fast or yes. do you not even think about it too no, much? No, it has. I mean, it's, it's amazing how quickly it's gone by. Um, but you know what, we're excited. We, we've been through just about everything. We've had some really thrilling years. We've had some really tough years. Um, the thing that I, I really like is that we, we love our group. We think this group's very focused on one thing and that's, that's winning games. You know, where years past, maybe last year, it's cost us some games where, you know, we weren't all on the same page. And I think the adversity from the year before carried over. But it helped to identify the character moving forward. You know, sometimes, you know, character's revealed either way. And sometimes it's positive, sometimes it's negative. But we really feel like we've got a good, tough group that, that are all bought in moving forward for sure. Is it kind of surreal, like kind of feeding off of that? I mean, with Trace and Stevie, this is your last year coaching those guys. You've had them here the entire Well, Trace is only junior eligibility-wise, oh, yeah, right, so right, right. let's, let's hope about this that. isn't the last year. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. <laughs> but no, it, this, they're, they're two of the, you know, the big pillars of our first recruiting class, um, along with along with G. Those, so those guys, you know, we're going to put a lot on their shoulders, but I know they're more than capable of handling. How different is the identity of this team going to be compared to ones of years past? You talk about the depth under the rim. Yeah, I think it's going to allow us more flexibility. We hope to be, I mean, last year we, we upped our scoring, you know, by I think maybe 14, 15 points. We hope this can be a team that really gets out and, and maybe is uh, a more up-tempo team than we've, than we've had because of our experience, but uh, our athleticism and our depth will certainly help along those lines. Coach, can you get prognostications? They are what they are. I mean, uh, can you use that as incentive sometimes? Um, yeah, I ignore those two words. But no, I mean, you can, but it, I don't know that other than a couple of years when we were picked to win it and we, we won it, that it ever really shakes out. I mean, um, I'd bust the coaches if they were the ones making the polls, but it was the media types, right? So, I mean, none of us really know what we're thinking, what we're doing, do we? No, but you can. You can use it as motivation if you've got the right makeup, you know, if your guys... Are, are, are capable of, of playing with a little bit of a chip and a little bit of an edge. And if you look across all the different publications, we've been kind of picked all over the place. So um, Stevie Thompson made a good point, um, Stevie Jr. He said it just really means that uh, they don't understand maybe uh, much about our new guys. Um, and so that really, it, it, what, all that remains is, is for us to get it done on the court. That's all that matters. Coach, it looks like those new guys can shoot it quite a bit. Uh, yeah, we've got some shooters. We feel like, you know, Zach Reichel, Ethan, but then Antoine can shoot. Uh, and we know Steven and Trace can. So we feel like this might be one of our best overall shooting teams as well. Um, but you got to put it put it in the basket. We didn't shoot it great on Saturday, but uh, we did when it mattered. So um, we feel like that should certainly be a strength of ours.